Hello students and welcome back to another class of English 2. Today we will be learning about adverbs. I would like you to follow the sentences as I read them. Now, sentence 1 reads, she entered the room silently. When you look at the sentence, we know that entered is the verb or the doing word. And now, when I ask the question, how did she enter the room? Your answer will be silently. Therefore, we know that silently is the adverb in this sentence. When we go to sentence number two, the train arrived late. Arrived is my verb. When did the train arrive? It arrived late. Therefore, when I ask the question when to the verb, I have the answer late. Therefore, late is the adverb in this sentence. When you come to sentence number three, the mason lives here. Lives is your verb. I ask the question, where does the mason live? And you will tell me here. Therefore, here is the adverb. In sentence number four, my mother always helps me. Helps is my verb. How often does mother help me? The answer points to always. Therefore, always is the adverb in this sentence. Sentence 5 reads, He is too weak to walk. Is is my verb. Now, in this sentence, you have weak. Weak is an adjective describing the pronoun he. Now, I'm going to ask the question to weak. How weak is he? And you will get the answer to. Therefore, in this sentence, to is the adverb. Sentence 6 reads, It was getting dark, hence the match was stopped. I ask the question, why was the match stopped? And you will answer, because it was getting dark. So therefore, hence or because will be your adverb. Yes, they are coming today. They are coming today. Truly, yes, it, it, it tells us that definitely they are coming. Therefore, yes is my adverb. He is not here. Not over here tells me negation or it is a negative sentence. Therefore, in this sentence, not is the adverb. Where has he gone? It's a question. Therefore, this sentence is asking me a question. Where is my adverb? In sentence 10, this is the place where he was born. Where is joining two parts of the sentence. Therefore, where is the adverb? Now, we have answered questions and we know which is the adverb. Let's see if we can name the adverb. In sentence one, I asked the question, how? How did she enter the room? And we answered silently. When you answer how, that means it is the manner in which the action was done. Therefore, this is the adverb of manner. So in sentence one, we have the adverb of manner. In sentence two, I have asked said, the train arrived late. I answered or I asked the question when and I got the answer. Therefore, Sentence 2 will give you the adverb of time. The mason lives here. 
here tells me the place where does he live therefore sentence three will be the adverb of place sentence four my mother always helps me i've asked the question how often and i get the answer always therefore always will become the adverb of frequency and asking the question how often i get the answer always therefore always is the adverb of frequency frequency something happening again and again and again in sentence five i have said he is too weak to walk i asked the question to what extent is he weak and i get the answer to therefore to tells me it's the adverb of degree to what level or to what extent he is so weak that he cannot walk and the answer points to two it was getting dark hence the match was stopped this gives me the reason why the match was stopped therefore this becomes your adverb of reason asking the question why yes they are coming today is affirmation because it is a truth it they are definitely coming therefore here we will get the adverb of affirmation truly they are coming he is not here tells me negative not is a negative word therefore not over here is adverb of negation now where has he gone here we are asking a question therefore where is the interrogative adverb and the last one this is the place where he was born i told you that where is joining two sentences now this is called the relative adverb this is the place one sentence where joining he was born therefore here you will find that one sentence depends on the other therefore the relative clause or the relative adverb is an adverb which will join to clauses now let's see what are the adverbs that we have the kinds of adverbs that we have we have an adverb of manner you will ask the question how to the verb and you will get the answer you have adverb of time you ask when to the verb and you will get the answer you have adverb of place you ask where to the verb you get your answer adverb of frequency you ask how often to the verb you get the answer adverb of degree to what extent you get the answer adverb of reason ask the question why you will get the answer to the adverb adverb of affirmation tells you when something is true and definitely going to happen adverb of negation not true or something which is not going to happen interrogative adverb asks a question and a relative adverb joins to clauses now adverbs you will see are modifying or adding meaning to the verbs we know that the verb is a doing word an action word telling me what someone is doing when a word adds more meaning to your verb then you get your adverb remember to use how when where how often to what extent why is it true is it not true does it ask a question and when it joins two sentences you get the different kinds of adverbs i hope you have understood today's lesson in the next class we will continue with the position of the adverb and the degrees of comparisons of adverbs 
I hope that you have learned something today. Read your sentences, read your textbook and do the exercise that is at the end of the lesson. Till then, stay safe at home, be happy, learn, take care of your health till we meet again in the next class. Thank you.